Sailors have long been obsessed with rounding something. It lends some sense of purpose to an otherwise aimless meander throughout the harbour. Now a confession, this footage is almost two years old, but hopefully it offers a bit of an insight into a pleasant evening sail on Boston Harbour. I had this bright idea about uh, two weeks ago to try and sail around Graves Light on a school night. It's 6.32 right now. I'm hoping to get back before maybe 11 o'clock. Probably about an hour away from Graves. I can just about see it on the horizon. So we'll see how it goes. A useful piece of kit when I'm by myself is this Raymarine wheel pilot. It usually does pretty well, except for... Ray, what's up with your pet? Are you struggling a bit? The autopilot doesn't do so well when the wind picks up. Charcuterie for dinner? We're getting there. There's graves on the horizon. along five and a half knots downwind right now. This boat doesn't sail particularly fast downwind, but um, I'm not too excited about getting back into the harbour because we're going to have about one and a half knots of tide against us. Get over, you bastard! After jibing around graves in ever graceful fashion, it was time to harden up on the wind and head back into Boston. Now that the boat was pointed upwind, I wasn't quite making the entrance to Boston Harbour, Deer Island Light, so it would involve a couple of tacks against a one and a half knot current to get there. It would certainly take a bit longer to get home than it did to get out, but there were worse places to be stuck in a Monday evening. I was making pretty good speed even with the current, but to get into the harbour I've got to follow the yellow track. And you can see with the red line where the boat was actually pointing. As it got darker, some lightning started to show on the horizon. Usually this is a worry, but there was no thunder to be heard, so that puts the storm a good 20 or so miles away at least. The other consequence of it getting darker is I'm now relying on a headlamp to see the sail trim. The great thing about binoculars is at night they let in much more light than you can see with the human eye. So here's what you see when you're sailing back into a major city at night. The horizon is just a row of multicoloured lights and it can be hard to tell what's a boat and what's a static light on shore. Here I'm actually turning up into the wind to see what's behind the headsail just to make sure that nothing else is lurking out there. Note the large ship at anchor in the centre of the frame and now that's hidden by the headsail as we come back on course. We can tell it's at anchor, because no red or green bow light is visible, and harder to discern amongst all the other lights, but there's no white stern light as well. As we get closer, it becomes a little more obvious. Passing the stern of our friend Mr. Tug, keeping way the hell out of his way. I'm now lining up the last tack that I'll need to make to get back into the city. On the navigation, you can see in blue, highlighted the course we need to steer to make it back into the small boat channel, and once we've crossed that, we'll throw in our last tack. We're just coming up at nine o'clock. Should be back in the mooring by maybe 9.45, 10, which is not half bad. It's quite hard right now to pick out the unlit small boat channel buoys. So what I'll do in this situation is find a building on the horizon that I can see lines up with the buoy and keep the headstay aligned with that building. This is called a transit. I've made it into the inner harbour, no more tax were required, no sailors were harmed in the making of this video. The planes are taking off overhead, they're really freaking loud! Now we're in
entering the mooring field. This is the sail configuration I usually use to get back onto the mooring. Full main, no jib, no engine. Now, time to drop the main sail. Not bad. Well, I'm back in the mooring after almost 20 nautical miles of a round trip sail out to Graves Light and then back in again. Not bad for a Tuesday night. I think earlier I said it was Monday. It's Tuesday. Oops. Now, time to go see if the dinghy's gonna start. I'd say one and two. Start, please start, please start. Make it to shore. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> 